Previously, I released a video about the importance of using urgency in your marketing. You see, without urgency, we're basically leaving it up to our potential customers to make our product or service a priority in a world with a lot of noise and a lot of people and things competing for their attention. So I'd urge you to check out that video that I previously released. But I wanted to make a follow-up video because recently I was talking to a group of potential customers and when I made the point about using urgency in their marketing, I got some pushback. They had some preconceived notions that the word urgency was considered tacky and should be better left to people like used car salespeople and not serious B2B marketers like they were. So I want to talk about using urgency without losing credibility. See, what they had experienced before were people using very cheap urgency tactics. I think we all know about the furniture store that's been going out of business for the last 16 months. They put those big signs up to get your attention to A, elicit that there's a value in there that you couldn't get elsewhere because they're going out of business and there's a fire sale, and B, to create a sense of urgency that if you're thinking about getting furniture in the next couple weeks or couple months, you better get your butt into that store now before everything is gone. But we all know that that's just a tactic. And then when the second and the third month rolls around, that store starts to lose credibility with us. And that, that basically that advertising message doesn't work on anybody who's not from out of town after a certain period of time. I think we've all experienced this with uh, some other retail person or potentially uh, even a car salesperson who is adamant that the price that they're offering us is only available today. See, that's a forced sense of urgency. And urgency should never be used to convince somebody to buy something that they weren't otherwise going to buy. See, urgency is basically or should be reserved to prevent your customers from procrastinating because that is our default mode. Our default mode is not to do anything and it takes a certain amount of urgency and scarcity and value to get somebody to actually make a change. So I want to talk about what that looks like. I want to talk about how you can actually use urgency without compromising your credibility. So scarcity is a great thing to do. If you've got uh, a free gift for the first 100 people that would come to your store on Black Friday, now that's a, that's a sincere offer. You actually have 100 items. They're a great item. You're either giving them away at a, at, a, at a crazy discount or you're completely giving away to the first 100 people who show up and buy something. You know That's a genuine offer that's going to get someone who is probably going to come to your store anyway to get there first thing in the morning. And that's going to keep them spending their money in your store instead of another store. Now, a lot of times people say, well, you know, I'm not a retail. I, I, I sell like a very you know, high end good or I sell the B2B client. You know, how can I use urgency in what I do? And so there's a couple ways. Um, one is our deadlines. And so using a deadline for a service that you're offering, meaning that you have, um, you basically are only going to offer it for a little bit longer or you're going to staircase, staircase the price over time. I know events do this a lot. Uh, you can also do a limited number of spots. So maybe you are only taking on uh, 50 new clients in this area, and you can create a sense of urgency by using scarcity in terms of the number of clients you're taking. Now, you can also use schedule to create urgency. So let's say that you're a service firm, like we are at Juicy Results. You've only got so many people and so many hours in the day. And if you can demonstrate to your customer that you've got a lot of interest in your products and services and that your pipeline is very large, they need to secure their spot now because if they wait a couple weeks, they may not be able to start their project or kick it off with you for three weeks or even three months. And so uh, the scarcity of your availability is a great way to create urgency. Um, my favorite way to create urgency is to make the prospects uncomfortable in their current situation. If your product or service can save somebody time or money, then you can demonstrate that every day they, they wait, they're leaving money or time or experiencing frustration that they wouldn't otherwise by not doing business with you. Similarly, if you can take some pain off of their plate, you can make it so they never have to clean their house again. Uh, you can make it so that they never have to worry uh, about a catastrophic loss, such as insurance. Then you can use a sense of urgency by elevating the discomfort that they have every minute that they don't go forward. So that's the takeaway. Urgency is a critical item that I feel like most marketers feel don't pertain to their product or service, when in reality, urgency is one of the only ways that you can get people to actually take action. 
but using urgency doesn't mean that you have to sacrifice your credibility either. So find genuine ways to create urgency within your business and you'll start converting more potential customers into customers. Yeah.